Henry Clay's numerous contributions to America started with his birth in Hanover County, Virginia in 1777. Clay grew up with little formal education and was one of nine children. Soon, this determined young man launched a legal career in Lexington, Kentucky in 1797. He worked in law for a while and then tried his luck in politics. He then won election to the Kentucky State Legislature in 1803 and to the U.S. House of Representatives in 1810. He was chosen as Speaker of the House in early 1811, and, after the War of 1812, Clay returned to his position as Speaker of the House and developed the American system. Clay's American system sought to unify a sectionally divided country. The plan consisted of three parts. First, a protective tariff to help developing industries. Second, internal improvements like roads, canals, and other ways to transport goods and materials. Finally, a national bank that would protect the economy by controlling inflation. Through his many political roles as senator, representative, and speaker of the House, Henry Clay made countless contributions to American policies and decisions. Clay was deemed the great pacificator due to his instrumental roles in the Compromise Tariff of 1833 and the Compromises of 1820 and 1850. Clay was even the leader of the War Hawks, an anti- British group that helped lead to America's declaration of war in 1812. These compromises steered the country away and from sectional tensions, which directly lead to the start and delay of the Civil War. Clay even promoted the American system in hopes of economic prosperity and unifying the country. Though all three times were unsuccessful, Clay's perseverance in running for president many times shows his strong will and hardworking character. Throughout his life, Clay contributed countless times to governmental policies while looking out for Americans as his selfless self.